jailbreak on the iPhone 3G for me and this is the f final version of 3.0 so dev team just released their jailbreak with Pony Tool only for Mac guys right now but they will release uh, for Windows and Mac very shortly just to show you I'm running 3.0 fresh uh, I just gotta have that or I'll just go into my settings and show you okay, general about and you should see my firmware right there version 3.0783141 okay so that's the 3.0 firmware next once you've done that um, restored into 3.0 final you wanna go in the link in the description find whatever phone you're using and by the way this jailbreak only works for the iPhone 3G, iPhone first gen, and iPod Touch first gen. Not not doesn't work for the 3GS that was just released today or the second gen uh, iPod Touch. So that's what this jailbreak is only for. So once you're freshly jail uh, restored into that, you want to go into the link in the description, find whatever device you're using, uh, what with what whichever it is. Uh, iPhone 3G or I, iPhone or iPod Touch. Click on the file and download the IPS firmware, IPSW firmware right there. You get the file which is right here. That's the custom IPS file that you get, want want to download. Next, you want to have iTunes 8.2, which is right there. You can download it. Uh, go to apple.com/itunes and download it right there. Next thing, you want to have Ponage Tool 3.0. You can get that in, link in the description. It will be right there. Once you download it, you'll get a folder. Just double click that. Okay, so now you're set. What you want to do first is go and find Ponage Tool, the one you just downloaded, the one in the link in the description. Then you want to go into that. It'll just give you this uh, Ponage Tool application, which is downloaded. Just click open. Once that has come, it gives you a little warning. Copyright 2009 iPhone Dev Team. This software is not commercial use. If you have bought the software, demand a refund. It's not for sale. Just gives you information and says that we are not responsible for any damage software this may do to your equipment. Be warned. But you can always restore it back, so it's no problem. Okay, now you want to click your device here. Simply iPhone, not by touch, or iPhone 3G. Right now, I'm, I'll go into export mode at the top first expert mode as you see and I'll go into iPhone 3G because that's what I'm using and then click next okay once that's done it'll browse for the IPS file which we downloaded in the link in the description which is right here you want to select that and go next and then you get all these options you can also do it in simple mode which is simpler but this gives you more options if we go into general and we go next we have activate the phone Enable baseband update and root partition. How big you want your file? I'll give it about one, about two, two gigs are good enough. Or you can just go into simple mode, which I will do. So I'll go into simple mode next. It's gonna browse for the IPS right there. I'm gonna click next, and it says we will now create an dot IPSW file that you can use to restore your iPhone 3G with iTunes. This file will be replaced on your desktop. Do you want to continue? Uh, yes, I want to continue. Do you have an iPhone 3G contract that would activate normally through iTunes? Yes. It will give you a little message here. It says, has your iPhone 3G been pwned before? Does it have the pineapple logo? If, if you are unsure, click no. Okay, so I haven't jailbroken my 3.0 software. And now it gives instruction into DFU mode. So you want to click into your iTunes just popped open. Cancel out of that. Okay, so once you've done that, it says to turn off your device. I'll just zoom out a bit. As you see in the back, it says turn off the device. Okay, as it's turning off.
I don't know why mine's taking that long. Okay, prepare to hold the home button and power button at the same time. Okay. Three, four. Prepare to release the home button. And keep holding down the home button. Okay. So iTunes will pop up if it's open. You can hit OK and exit out of there just for now. It says, if you can read that, it says, successfully entered DFU mode. Close quick, close Ponish Tool application, start iTunes, and restore your cut with your custom firmware bundle. So say OK. You can go next if you want, and just exit out of quick, t quick Ponish Tool. Sorry about that. Okay, so here is the custom IPSW file. You can see it right there. That's what you want to go into. So leave that alone right now. Go into iTunes 8.2. And it should be already in restore mode if you follow the steps properly. And with before pressing restore, you want to go down to your keyboard. And for max, you have to hit the alt and option key. So hit that and hit restore. And then once you've done that, this should pop up. So one, you have to hit uh, Alt and Option on the one key and hit Restore, and then you'll get this window. The Finder Noble will pop up. Wherever you save the IPSW file, you want to click on that. Okay, so I clicked on the IPSW file. Now I want to open it. Okay, once it's opening, it says Extracting Software. Okay, preparing iPhone for restore. You get a white screen. Just part of the process. Then you see the pineapple logo pops up there. And it still says preparing iPhone to restore. So you see it's starting right now. And it's going to get the jailbreak on soon. This takes a long process, guys, so be patient. Once it's done, it'll give you a message saying it will reboot soon. So right now, it is rebooting with the custom IPSW file that we made off a of Ponage tool. So it's just finishing up and now it's restarting and it turned black but you can still see that it is on okay now it says slide to emergency that's why you connect it to iTunes and it will notice it in just a moment Okay, come on iTunes. Notice. Okay, so iTunes pops up. It says iPhone, it's loading up. Okay, now it says an update uh, to the carrier settings for the iPhone that will be available. I'll just update my settings because I'm on a contract. So, okay, successfully updated. Now, setup as a new phone is always a safe way to go. And then I just go continue and then sync it back. So I'm not going to sync anything. Okay, so once it's done, we have the iPhone 3G here. We'll unlock it. Dismiss. And there we go, guys. Cydia and IC all on the 3.0 software. It's So now it's jailbroken, as you see, on 3.0. If you still don't believe me, which I don't see why you won't, 3.078341. So that's the firmware, guys. Jailbroken with CD and Icy. Thanks for watching.